in india thankfully uh, now we have the uh, upi payment system uh, and the mobiles will help you to do a large part of the payments most recently when on my four corners uh, of uh, india ride i what i did was uh, while i was using the upi payment in most of the places there are certain places which have not that advanced to take a you know scanner payment at which time you know like i would use my credit card at a petrol station and encourage them to give me 500 rupees over and above the fuel that i have used now this is acceptable this is not a deviation and usually they do accept it simply because they know that i'm a traveler and i don't have access to a, a atm right away so in case uh, the fuel bill is 1000 rupees i would encourage the cashier to say bhaiya 1500 rupees ka giso aur 500 rupees cash there i have never been declined they have said you know like okay so a couple of places you know these guys would wanted to take their permission of the manager which is fine i mean you need to be patient there when the procedures are being put in place for international rides i usually carry small change in us dollars 10 dollars and 20 dollars maximum 50 dollars uh, but i also carry a forex card which is uh, local currency it's it's a it's a multi currency card and the card gets swiped in the local currency of whichever country i'm traveling other than that there is always a backup credit card without a credit card it is it is very difficult because there are places at borders which expect you to pay by a credit card as a deposit and that deposit is refunded back into your credit card as you exit that country so so please understand that it is not a luxury to carry a credit card it is a mandatory thing to carry a credit card when you're traveling on international travels now uh, other than that uh, the local currency you usually use uh, lose a a few uh, uh, dollars in exchange in and exchange out so the forex card takes care of most of these uh, loops but there are chances that you might want to withdraw uh, some uh, local currency as well by exchanging hard cash that something that as i said 10 dollars and 20 dollars is what would be sufficient to exchange money at the borders to meet your immediate needs